we'll start with uh, more questions from series. Series are very interesting generally. Like the first interesting part, what I find, uh, what I found the most interesting part about series is that uh, you have to think about, you have to get the pattern, right? You have to identify the pattern. So the best part is to identify the patterns. When you will be able to identify the patterns between terms, you will be surely able to get the rth term, right? And as soon as you get the rth term, you just have to apply your formula. Yeah, Safa, you were saying something, asking something. No, sir. Okay. Okay, so uh, third, uh, I mean, question number two is also like question number one, which we have solved in the early class. So let's start with question number three. I'll give you one minute to think about it, and you have to identify how to write its fourth term how to write it, its fifth term, and then how to write its rth term, all the three, three things. We have to find lesson. We know what SN is. SN can be fine. If we can find TR, then we will apply sigma from R is equals to 1 to R is equals to N, which basically means T1 plus T2 plus T3. So you will be putting the values of R starting from 1. If you put 1, you will get T1, then T2, then T3, T4, up to Tn. What what you have to do is you just have to find the rth term, basically any term. What's the pattern? You have to get the pattern. You can raise your hand if if someone can answer the three questions. You can raise your hand as soon as you get the pattern. Okay, so let's start with Tarif. Tarif, uh, what will be the fourth term? Think about it. Yeah. What will what will be the fourth term of the series? They have already provided three terms, right? Yes, sir. So find out the fourth term. What's the pattern? Sir, Did you get it? Will there it be nine? Terms. Yeah. Nine into uh, four square. Got it. Good. What will be the fifth term? Uh, 11 into pi square. Yeah. So, right. So, there are two parts, right? One is we are basically squaring the term, and one is an odd number. So, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 into 5 square. And th there's a simultaneous part of square as well. well known. 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, and 5 square. So, if I write fourth term, I get 9 into 4 square. If I write fifth term, so we, I get five square, right? So if, if I'm writing TR, if I want to find out general term of this series, so one thing is sure that I'll be getting R square along with it. Because in the first one, we got one square. Then in the second term, we have two square, three square, four square. So subsequently, when I reach to some Rth term, some general term, I'll be getting R square, right? Now the interesting part is second. Is it 2R plus 1? Yeah, correct. So we know this is an odd number. Odd number can be expressed as 2R plus 1 or 2R minus 1. Right? So if I want to find out which odd number it is, you just have to put the value. You, you are getting 11 in fifth term. So that should be 5 into 2 plus 1. 9 in the fourth term, 4 into 2 plus 1. 7 in the third term, 3 into 2 plus 1. Right? So basically, if you find out Rth term, you'll be getting 2R plus 1 into R square. <clears throat> as soon as you get the Rth term, it's easy to solve for SN. So SN should be sigma 2R plus 1 into R square. R is from 1 to N. 
and we can multiply this expression. What we will be getting is sigma r is from 1 to n. Now this will be 2r square, sorry, 2r cube plus r square. We can distribute the sigma over both of them. So we can write it as 2. We can take 2 outside the sigma. r cube, r is from 1 to n plus sigma r square. So what we have done is we have taken the sigma over this as well as this. So sigma r square and sigma 2 r cube and we can take 2 outside of the sigma which is sigma multiplication. So it will be 2 into yes the next part is Iram. Will you tell me sigma r cube? What's the formula for sigma r cube? r is from 1 to n. Then n plus on the whole by two on the square. Oh, suffer. So yeah, correct. Plus sigma r square. Yeah. Uh, Maz, will you help me in this sigma? What is the sigma r square? R is from one to n. What's the formula for this? This is basically sum of squares of first and natural numbers. Uh, so, sir, it is n plus 1 into n plus 2 divided by 2 or, or um, divided by 6? Uh, no, 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 no. It was n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 mm. divided by 6. <clears throat> That's okay. You'll get the formulas. Again, get all the formula today because we'll be practicing a lot of these questions. So now the answer part for the answer part when you reach the, uh, up to this point for the answer part you have to take common. I mean, uh, give the answer in the most simplified form, right? So you should take something common and you should I mean solve it. <laughs> so it would be two into n square n plus 1 square divided by 4 plus n n plus 1 to n plus 1 divided by 6. We can take n n plus 1 common from both of them as well as upon 2 common. So n n plus 1 divided by 2 is common. What we are left is what we are left with n into n plus 1 here. Right, because we have already taken one n, one n plus one and two. So we are left with n and n plus one. And here we got two n plus one divided by three. So it would be n n plus one divided by two. This is n square plus n. If we take LC. So the LCM would be 3. This would become 3n square plus 3n plus 2n plus 1. So the final answer would be n n plus 1, 3n square plus 5n plus 1 divided by 6. This would be your answer. Also, feel free to ask if you're facing problems with any step. But the important steps, like how would you solve the question, were this. These two and then applying the formula. These two.
so I found the answer with this question, but then I opened up the brackets as well. So was it okay? Yeah, that is also okay, but uh, I mean, the most simplified form would be if we can factorize it, right? If we are opening the bracket, then we are not factorizing it. So it should be it's, in this form. It, 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 that is also correct, but uh, yeah, but the, I mean, the more correct form is this, when we factorize it, till the point it is positive. Okay. Yeah, so is it done for everyone? If there's someone who's writing the piece, then yeah. And for all of the persons who have already written, start solving question number fourth. Try to find the pattern and then we'll solve the question. Now the fourth one is interesting because it does not only depends on the previous formula. Which one is interesting? Sharna, would, would you tell me the RF term for this, general term for this series? We know what SN is. This is sigma TR. R is from 1 to N. So we just need to find the general term, basically R term. Like we need to find the pattern. So, Janya, would you try this? <clears throat> Tell me if you are able to find the R term. See the pattern, observe the pattern, and try to find find out the R term. And also, Iram, you also start thinking about it. What should be the R term? We have to get the pattern and then we can only find out the array term. For that, try to think out what should be the fourth term. What should be the fifth term? Uh, sir, is it one by n, uh, one by r plus yeah. one? One by r plus one or one by r into r plus one? Right? No? Yes. So we can find out that the third term is 3 into 4, 1 by 3 into 4. Fourth term should be 1 by 4 into 5. From observing the pattern, first term was 1 into 2, second was 2 into 3, third was 3 into 4. So 4 should be 4 into 5. So the R term should be 1 by R into R plus 1. Right now, if you apply sigma over it directly, I mean, so there is no formula, I mean, you haven't read any formula relating to reciprocal of R. 
you know sigma r so basically this is sum of n natural numbers which is n into n plus 1 by 2 you know sigma r square sum of squares of first n natural numbers you know sum of cubes of first n natural numbers you also have sum for first n odd numbers but there is no formula containing this part or sigma 1 upon r into r square r plus one. We have this four formula, right? But there is no one telling you about one by r. So here we got one by r square plus r. You can also write it like that, but that doesn't change anything. But there is no formula including. Agar aap isko, so write it like this. In the value of tr we don't have any formula for this so these type of co series called different series there's a specific name for them so i already told you that there are so many types of series but one of the interesting type of series is different series now why its name is difference uh, first yeah can you please excuse me for a few minutes yeah yes Thank you. So, different series. Why? Why? We, why do we call it different series? These type of series contains uh, the multiplication of some multiplication of some terms in the denominator. And you see, if the terms multiplying, they have same common difference. Like the difference between these two terms is one. Difference between these two terms is also one. Difference between these two terms is also one. It could have also been something like like this. Or let's say like this. Something like this. Then also, this would have been a different series. Because the difference is two. There are also two. There are also two. So the series which contain the multiplication of some terms in their denominator. And the terms which are getting multiplied have same common difference. Then the series is called different series. Now there is a there is another way to solve these type of series. We don't have formula for them. But we have a method for them. Now, what do we want to solve is 1 by r into r plus 1. So, we are calling it a different series. So, we will be using this, this difference to solve the series. Now, the difference between two terms is 1 here. So, we will write 1 in the denominator, which we on, already have, right? And we write this 1 as r plus 1 minus r. So whatever is the difference between these two terms, we will multiply and divide the whole series with that term. The difference here was 1. So we don't need to multiply the series with 1. If the difference would have been 2, I would be multiplying the series with 2 and also dividing the series by 2. Because I want that difference in the numerator part. In this case, the question is easier because we already have difference 1, which is present in the numerator part. So we will write this 1 as r plus 1 minus r. Now, what does this change? r is from 1 to n. So we are writing this 1 as r plus 1 minus r. And see, which I, I can write this like this. The difference is 1 only. R. The difference between R plus 1 and R is 1. <clears throat> and I am distributing this denominator over both of these parts. So I can write this series as 
no, I'm only applying sigma because that already means that the r is from, the, the value of r is from one to n. So I can write this as r plus one divided by r into r plus one minus r upon r into r plus one. r plus 1 gets cancelled out and r gets cancelled out in this case. So what I am left with Sn is equals to sigma. I got 1 by r in the first term minus 1 by r plus 1 in the second term. This is from 1 to n. I just write these terms once. First, first of all, write note down this and ask me if you are facing any problem. Because we will be solving another question on different series, which you will be solving actually. So understand the concept, how to find out the different series first of all. Different series is when some terms are multiplying in the denominator and the difference between these terms is same in every every term. So in the first term, we got okay. the multiplication of two terms. Yeah, please suffer. Yes, sir, I understand. You multiply the numerator with uh, r plus one the whole minus r. R plus one whole minus. R. No, no, no. I'm not multiplying it. I'm just multiplying the difference between these two terms. So the 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 terms which are in denominator as uh, r and r plus one. The difference between these two terms is one. So I'm multiplying. Oh, I mean, you took LCM like uh, Okay, I understood what you meant. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So find and then out you the cancel term. the common terms after separating them. Yeah. Yes. That is basically the main crux. That is the uh, concept. I have to cancel out these these two parts. I mean, I can't cancel out both of them simultaneously. But I can I can cancel out one part at a time. Yeah. Okay then, sir. So if I do that, then uh, you'll see what what will happen. So so then our uh, SN uh, is going to sigma one by r minus one by r plus one, right? Yes. Okay. If you solve it, you you will get this one by r into r plus one. This okay. is nothing but this only. Yeah. So this is a transformation. Okay, sir. Understood. And how you will be getting to that up to that transformation part is you have to multiply the whole term by the comps difference and then write the difference as the difference of these two parts. Yeah, is anybody left? If you haven't written, please raise your hand. Okay. Wait, so, sorry, but can you just say how did you um like yes. this one by r into r plus one sn mm -hmm. the first step? You yes. separated it, right? Uh yes. First, first I've just... written up. You see, see, first just I have just written this difference, which where did it came from? It was the difference between these two terms. So I have written this one as the difference of these two terms, r plus one minus r. Okay. Right? In the second step. Now I have I have distributed this denominator over r plus one and r. So what did it become? R plus one divided by r into r plus one minus r by r into r plus one. So in now, such now questions, hmm. we should use like the difference of them. Yes, that is why we are calling them different series because the difference will be same throughout. So we'll be using that difference to solve the series. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So, now this transformation basically simplifies the whole question. How you will see this? So, SN is this. Sigma r is from one to n, one by r minus one upon r plus one. So what I'm what I'm doing now is 
I'm just expanding the series. I'm just putting these value of R. So this series will go somehow like this. If I put R is equals to one, I'll get one by one minus one by two. Then sigma comes into the picture, right? Then I put R is equals to two. So I'll get one by two minus one by three. Then I'll be putting three. So I'll get one by three minus one by four. And similarly, at some point, I'll be putting R is equals to N minus one. So if I put R is equals to N minus one, what I'll get is one by N minus one minus one by N minus one plus one. Then I'll put R is equals to N. So I'll be getting one by N minus one by N plus one. Because you are solving the first series, so I'm writing this much term. Otherwise, you will be only solving. I mean, you will get the concept when you solve this. So now see, there are parts cancelling out each other. So if you see minus 1 by 2, it gets cancelled out with plus 1 by 2. Then minus 1 by 3 with plus 1 by 3. Minus 1 by 4 with plus 1 by 4. The fourth term would be 1 by 4 minus 1 by 5. So this negative term gets cancelled out with the next positive term. Then again, the next negative term will get cancelled out with next positive term. So, so only one minus one by n plus one will yes. be the remaining term. Correct. So only the first term will be there because there is no previous negative terms to negative term to cancel this out. And the last negative term will be there because there is no positive term next to it. Right? So 1 minus 1 by n plus 1. We solve this, we will get n plus n 1 by minus 1. n plus 1. Yes. 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 yes, yes, correct. n by n plus 1. That is the sum of the series. But the step remains the same. First step is to identify the R term, which is the most important step, I would say. You have to find out the pattern. To find out the pattern, try to find out fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth term. Try to find out the general term. Most of the questions will be based on these four formulae only, which I have already written on the right hand side. But one or two problems will be from the higher series, which includes first different series. I mean, first part is different series. So different series are very important and they have a lot of application actually in trigonometry, then in questions related to uh, sequences as well. Then in the next year also, you'll be getting a lot of questions on, uh, I mean, there'll be questions related to different series you should know this concept. Now for better understanding, I'm also providing one more question. Solve this. First try to solve this. Then I'll be giving you one question for homework on different series. Now the difference is not one. But difference is same. Despite it's being not one, it's same. It's two for every uh, each 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 of the top.
Is everybody done? Okay, so first of all, you have to find TR. Now, many of you may have observed the pattern, and some of you may have also, also, I mean, found out the RF term. But I'll tell you another way to find out NF term. I mean, this time. So first of all, if any one of you has already found out the TR, please tell me. Is it one by R into R plus two? 1 by r into r plus 2. I don't think so, so far. Okay, so see, see, okay. How would you find out that you are wrong? Just put the terms. Put the value of r. So if you put r1, you should get t1, which you have all which you already have, right? Yeah. So if you put r1, then you get 1 by 1 into 3, which is correct. Now put r is equals to 2. If you put R is equals to 2, you will get 1 by 2 into 4. You don't have 1 by okay. 2 into 4. Yeah. So in that way, you will you'll be able to find out whether you find out uh, whether your expression for TR is correct or not. You just put the values of R from 1 to 3 because you will always have first three terms of any sequence, any series. If they want to find out, if they want you to find out SN, they will always give you for the first three terms. So, sir, so is it 1 by 2 or minus 1 the whole into R plus 2? So 1 not... by, oh, sorry, sorry, 1 by 2 R minus 1. Huh? Yes, 1 by 2 R minus 1 and? 1 minute, sir. 1 minute. Yeah. You're almost there, by the way. So, there are two parts. Try to think out about both the parts. First part is 1, 3, 5, going in that way. Second part is 3, 5, 7. So if you are able to find out the first part, you can just simply add 2 in that. Fad, will you try? This 2 R plus 1. 2 R plus 1. Correct. 1 by 2 R minus 1 and 2 2 R plus 1. You just have to add 2. Now, it, this is a way, this is a, this is an intuitive way to reach to TR. Intuitive money, uh, you will have to think about it on, on your own. You don't have any formula for it. Right? You will have to think and then you will you'll be writing these terms. But one, one more way or one more, I mean, structured way to reach to this can be if you if you use the knowledge of your sequence right so what is it i told you that uh, the the terms are in multiplication in denominator right and there are two parts to that term one is one and another is three so there are two parts to observe one into three three into five so the first part is one three five then the fourth term should be one by seven into nine so First part is going out in AP, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, something like that. So you can find out the R term for AP. This is an AP, which is this. You have to find TR, find out TR. First term is what? 1. Common difference is what? 2. So A plus R minus 1 into D, which is 2. So what would be the value? This would be the value. So you got the first part in that way. 
Now, what is second part? Second part in every term is just two more than the first part. It could have been anything else as well. I'm not saying that it would always follow this, but whatever it is, it can be, it can also be simplified by its own because the terms are again in AP, 3, 5, 7, 9. You can also find TR for that. But in, in a more simpler way, I, I, I mean, in a simpler way, I would say that just add to the first part. So 2R minus 1 plus 2. If you add 2 to it, you will get 2R plus 1. Now, as you as you already find out, TR, now you have to solve for SM. You know this is a different series, right? The difference is 2. So how would you use that difference? That's the question. Now try to solve it. Anji, how should we write this? Aram, will you try? What's the difference here? The difference we were talking about, what is that difference here? Difference is the difference between these two terms. 3 and 1, 3 and 5, 5 and 7, 7 and 9. That difference should be same for every term. If it is same, then it is called different series. The difference is 2, right? But we don't have 2 in numerator. Now we need 2 in numerator because we have to use this difference to solve the series. Tharif, how should we do this? Can you tell me? I'm not so sure, sir. Okay. What about mass? No, you know, I'm not sure, sir. Okay, Fahad? So maybe 2R plus 1 minus 2R minus 1, something like that. Yes, that, that we should do, Fahad, but 
uh, how did we how uh, i don't have two here so whatever you are saying that 2r plus 1 minus 2r minus 1 the value is 2 if you subtract them 2r 2r gets cancelled out the value is 2 so how do you introduce 2 here by multiplying 2 uh, on the denominator and numerator both sides yes so what we will do is we will multiply with 2 and also divide this series by 2 in that way we got 2 which is which is the difference between these two terms and now we can write this 2 as the difference between these two terms. So 1 by 2 sigma no, 2r plus 1 minus 2r minus 1 divided by 2r minus 1 into 2r plus 1. Tharif, Maz, Iran, did you get it guys? Abdullah? Sir, I didn't also understand. Janya. Uh, Safa, you were saying something? Yeah, sir, I didn't understand this. Okay. Uh, so the difference between these two terms is two, right? In the previous case, the difference was one. Yeah. So what we did is we just multiplied, we, we just uh, write that one as the difference between those two terms. But in this case, the difference is two. And I've already talked about using difference to solve the series. Yeah. Okay, so we, we are multiplying this series by 2 and also dividing the series by 2 so that we can get this difference in the numerator. Now, as, as soon as we get this difference, we are writing this difference to serve its purpose. The purpose was to, to, to get this difference in the numerator, right? Yes, sir. The two terms were 2r minus 1 and 2r plus 1. The difference between them is 2. So we are multiplying by multiplying and dividing by 2. So that we can write that two as the difference of these two terms. Okay. Now, as soon as we do this, we will be getting one by two r minus one minus one by two r plus one, which was can the we, actual purpose. This yeah. difference, can we do it as the last step? Is it possible? Last step on it, which which step? Yeah. Like the final answer at that point. At that time, no, but in that case, we will not be getting this term. No, we need this transformation so that when we expand the series, they get cancelled out. Okay, sir. Yeah, so they won't get cancelled out if, if you'll be doing this step in the last part, right? Sir, I had a doubt. Uh, yeah, please. Uh, ask yes. Mars. Sir, why are we multiplying sigma with 1 by 2? Uh, because we have uh, multiplied the sigma with 2 as well. We are, uh, okay, so why are we multiplying or why are we dividing? Uh, multiplying sigma with 1 by 2. Okay. So this 1 by 2, this 2 gets cancelled out with the numerator part. Mass. Yes. We, we have to introduce two in the numerator as so uh, to introduce two in the numerator we basically have to divide have to divide with one by two otherwise the equation won't be correct this was we uh, actually what what did we have we don't have this two in the numerator right we had yes. one here and one here but we want to use the difference so we to use that difference we need two in the numerator part and that is why we have to divide it by two Oh. Yeah. So, Mas, we basically did this 2 by 2. Now, I'm taking this 2 of the numerator inside. Oh. 2 by 2 is basically 1. No? Yeah. That is why we, we have to multiply it with 1 by 2. Oops.
uh, yeah sorry guys did you understand this please feel free to ask no no hesitation this is a tough one i know so yeah after this point you have to solve now now please expand this and try to find out which terms are cancelling so this is all about patterns this difference is all about patterns you have to follow two three steps the important steps first of all find the difference then use that difference to to i mean to factorize these denominator wala part denominator had 2r minus 1 into 2r plus 1 but we have transformed this up to this part that is the transformation if we if we are not able to transform this up to this part the terms will won't get cancelled out after after uh, expanding now if you will expand the simply terms will get cancelled out तो सबसे पहले यार यहाँ पे डिफरेंस चेक करो यहां से स्टार्ट किया करो इन हर टर्म के बीच का डिफरेंस सेम है कि नहीं वही डिफरेंस से मल्टीप्लाई और डिवाइड कर दो इसको पूरा और जो मल्टीप्लीकेशन वाला पार्ट है उसको अंदर लेके गए और लिख दिया जो भी नीचे टर्म्स लिखी हुई है उनका डिफरेंस इस तरीके से इस टू को अंदर लेके गया और इस टू को ऐसे लिख दिया टू आर प्लस वन माइनस टू आर माइनस वन जो भी दो टर्म्स नीचे हैं टर्म्स विच आर इन दिच आर प्रेजेंट इन द डिनोमिनेटर उनका डिफरेंस फिर डिस्ट्रीब्यूट किया डिनोमिनेटर तो हर बार आपके पास यू यूल गेट तीस टर्म्स Anji, what's the final answer? Expand the series and get the final answer. What is SN? One by two तो बाहर ही रहेगा पूरे के। इसके अंदर आप अपने terms लिखते जा सकते हैं। Cancel out होने के बाद कुछ बचेगा। Solve करिए और final answer बताइए। फहद आंसर आया नहीं सर बता मेरे को सॉल्व करके Safa, what's the final answer? Sir, I got us n by two n plus one. Correct. Sir, Good. earlier you had mentioned I had asked you whether I can take the half after the final answer. Previously, I didn't know we should take half like two difference outside, 
and I just got the answer at that point as 2n by 2n plus 1. And now if I multiply it with 1 by 2, I will get the same answer still. Yes. So is it not possible? Like, can I do it? It is possible. I mean, the uh, what you're doing is you're just writing the difference, right? You're yeah. not counting, you're not counting that okay, what's the difference? If the difference is four, how can you write one is equals to four? So you're basically not counting for this part. You're yeah. directly writing the numerator as the difference of the denominator. Yeah. In that case, the difference can be anything. If the difference is one, you will get the right answer. But if the difference is not one, if the difference is four, then multiply the whole answer by one by four. If the difference is five, then multiply the whole answer by one by five. Yes, sir, that, uh, right? when we find yeah. Sn, at that point, we can multiply it by 1 by 4 or 1 by 3. Like yeah, that. Yes. yes. Okay. So Sn would be 1 by 1, 1 by 3, plus 1 by 3, minus 1 by 5. So again, it's the same pattern. First negative term will get out, will get cancelled out with the next positive term. The last term would be this. So positive term is cancelling out with the previous negative term. So you'll be left with only two terms. Sn is equals to 1 by 2. Now you get 1 minus 1 by 2n plus 1. There are only two terms, the first positive because there is no previous negative term to it and the last negative because there is no succeeding positive term to it. And in that way, if you saw, so you'll get 1 by 2 into 2n by 2n plus 1, 2 gets cancelled out. So you are left with n by 2n plus 1. That is the final answer for SN. Where's Fatafat solve sixth? Fifth, you have, I mean, we have already solved a question like fifth in yesterday's class when I was explaining the properties of sigma and formula and then sigma and square, sigma and r cube. All of them, we have already solved the question like fifth. Now solve sixth. And then ask me if you have any problem in any question. <clears throat> Otherwise, I'll be updating an assignment. So solve that and solve all the questions of NCRT. So which questions we have to do now? Now you have to solve the whole NCRT for sequence and series. So, achha, okay, for now, you will yeah, have to solve question number class, six. Yeah. yeah, question number six. Six, okay. yes. Specifically, solve all the miscellaneous examples and open miscellaneous exercise. Because you'll be getting a lot of questions from that in your exams. In the next class, we will be taking doubts first and then we'll be moving to the next chapter, binomial theorem. We solve six, then excuse me just for uh, one, two minutes. You start solving. I'll be asking you questions.
uh, guys am i audible yeah have you solved the question number 6th so yes so far i think i'm not, like i'm getting stuck in a minute okay have you found uh, first first step let's go to the first step have you found found find out tr yeah i think tr is equal to 1 by 3r into 3r plus 5 1 by 3r into 3r plus 5 1 by just a minute Oh, no, 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 sorry, sir. One by, yeah. Yeah, sir, I took the opposite. One minute. This is a simple question after finding out TR. Safa, as soon as you got TR, you will yes, be sir. able to solve the question. 3 into 8 plus 6 into 11. Yeah, correct. Again, break it into two parts. Three, six, nine. First part is three, six, nine. Going, going on as the multiple of three. And second part is eight, 11, 14. In that way. There is no term in denominator. So it's not a different series, first of all. So to find TR, either go through AP way, AP ban rahe, to you can find out the any term for AP or go for the intuitive way. If you are able to find out directly, so that's the best way. But if you are not, so then don't waste time. Just think about what sequence this these terms are following. This is AP, 3, 6, 9, next term should be 12 into then 8, 11, 14, next term should be 17. So both are APs. Find out the NET term for AP. You will be able to find out the NET term. I mean, R term for this whole series. And if you go intuitively, so then these are the multiples of three, three, six, nine, twelve. This is basically three R. And the next term is three R plus five. Just add five to it. So SN would be sigma T R. R is from 1 to n. You know TR, put, put that value, use the formula, which I have already studied, and find out the sum. Yeah. So what should be the next step? Anyone? 
reason I come and small like three R into three R plus five, we do it and then take it as separate as. Yes, so far, yes. Take it separate. Um, so how do you just say the sigma like n sigma r equals one like this? Yeah, we uh, sigma r. You can just say sigma r. Okay, sigma r. Yeah. So 15 would be taken to the left side of sigma. Yes. Then we find out the separate Sn. So what, what should be this part? Tell it me the sigma r square. N, n into n plus one. Uh, into uh, n plus one by six. Yeah. And the right. second one plus it is for natural numbers. So it is like n by 15 into n by two. Why like, 15 into n by 2? Shouldn't it be n into n plus 1 by 2? Yeah, n into n plus 1 by 2. Yes. And then we have to take common out and find it. We can take so n into n plus common. Yeah. Only n into n plus 1? And 3. I didn't also solve some, what else. Are. Some more as well. Think about it. Can also two. take two. Yeah. Yeah, two. So Iron with... Go ahead, it's okay. And three. So what we are left with here is five. Yeah. So the answer should be three n n plus one. And then we got two n plus six here. Yeah. Divided by three. Oh, sorry, two. We can take three. I'm sorry. No, we cannot take anything common. Sorry. No, we can two. We can take two common from two n plus six. Two into three six, yeah. So it becomes n plus three. Okay. Sir. That's the final answer. <clears throat> Okay, so now uh, solve all the questions related to series as well as sequence. Just complete the whole NCRT and uh, come with your doubts, okay, in the next class. We'll be getting uh, a lot of assignments in this week. Uh, you have also received some assignments. So solve all those assignments as well and come with your doubts, okay, and uh, then we'll start the next chapter. So you'll be facing a lot of questions. I mean, you'll be facing a lot of doubts in this chapter. You should, ideally. You know, this is a very big chapter and there are so many concepts involved. And especially the series part will be a bit tricky. Then the sequence part. Sequence part is fairly easy than the series part. So if you face any problem, please come with your doubts in the next class and then we will start the next chapter. Chalifiraj.